uh, Whitman Fire and Rescue. We're having our annual open house for the public. My name is uh, Firefighter Tom Ford. I'm a firefighter here and paramedic. I'm also the uh, safe officer. Today we'll be uh, talking about smoke detectors. The theme this year is uh, smoke detectors, all about uh, safety and having working smoke detectors. Um, the public will be able to see apparatus that we have around here, our ambulance, our fire truck, our ladder trucks, and we also have the sprinkler trailer today. We're gonna actually light a fire and wait for the sprinkler head to go off and show the importance of uh, sprinklers in buildings. This is uh, one of the vehicles we have out here, one of the fire apparatus. Uh, it's our ladder truck. It has a 100-foot ladder on it, and it's pretty well out. I don't, I don't know if it's out all the way, but uh, that's one of the uh, trucks that the public will be able to look at. It'll be explained what, exactly what it does. This is another one of our fire trucks. This is the uh, heavy rescue truck. As you can see, we use this mostly for uh, on accidents. If we have, with the jaws of life, we can... Uh, Actually, if a car is really damaged and we can't get somebody out of a vehicle, we use the jaws. It actually will open up some metal and we'll be able to get the patient out that way. We've uh, used that many times in the past. Also, as uh, some cutters here, if we have to cut metal, it cuts through the metal and also a couple of spreaders that are up here that will spread the metal out to help get somebody out of a car in, a, in case of a bad accident or something like that. Also has a light tower on this vehicle. We don't have it up because of the uh, wires up there, the electrical wires. We can't put it up, but it will uh, light up a lot of areas. Uh, also on this uh, rescue, we have uh, airbags. It actually inflates, and you can actually lift a uh, car or a truck with that if someone's trapped or underneath the vehicle. Um, fill those up with air. We have the air system up here, and the actual air tanks are in here. Also. Uh, you have many tools, and most of them are used, used for cutting or opening, <laughs> opening things. That was our horn going off there. In the tank, we, we have uh, saws up here for cutting. Uh, we have metal saws if we have to get in into a uh, building that has uh, metal doors on it. We can use that to cut them open. Also, uh, in here we have uh, 
We have an inflatable boat we use for uh, water rescue. And we have our, our life preservers. There's also a tent in here and a lot of ropes. And we do have our ice sled also for uh, ice rescue, uh, somebody in the water, and just regular backboards and multiple uh, fire extinguishers also. This is uh, one of our three ambulances at Whitman Fire Rescue. Uh, we run three ambulances, 90% uh, of our calls are medical calls, and we do uh, a lot of them. Um, all the equipment in here, we have uh, advanced life support. We can uh, diagnose heart attacks and uh, give people uh, medicine if they need it for any kind of condition. And pretty much, uh, it's got everything we need to help people until we get them to the hospital. This year, uh, something new we have, we have a uh, sprinkler trailer from the Mass Fire Academy. We're actually gonna light a fire and watch as a sprinkler will actually activate and put out the fire. The importance of sprinklers, um, they're, they're very important to have in buildings for life safety. They work, they're very efficient, and they don't uh, cause the water damage that uh, people think they do. They, they actually uh, work very well. So uh, we're gonna show the public how they work and. Hopefully, uh, one day, uh, all houses will have sprinklers. Yeah. That's where we sit when we go to the call. That's where all the noise comes from, the lights and the sirens.
Like a police car? Looks like my police car at my home. Does it make, does it have a siren? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Look at that door. <laughs> I love the car. I know. Say hello. As long as it's not blowing well, spit at you, it's good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you driving good? There's so much going on in here. Hey, Mason, say yes. Are you having fun? Okay. Yeah. All right, hi guys. Today, today what we have here is we have the uh, sprinkler house from uh, the Mass Department of Fire Services. Just shows how important sprinklers are. They're trying to pass legislation to get them on all new homes built. It hasn't gone through yet. It's been met with a lot of resistance. With a new home, an 1,800 square foot home, it only adds like uh, less than three thousand dollars to the cost of the house. And everybody knows when you're building a house, that's uh, not a large, large amount. Um, Mostly, for 90% of fires, they're put out with one sprinkler head, so the water damage will be minimal for most fires. As you can see, it gets up. What happens is, when it reaches a certain temperature on the ceiling, excuse me, this uh, bulb in here will pop. And these are rated like 135 to 175, this particular one. For some buildings where the heat gets really hot up, like factories and stuff, they'll have different kinds that will be higher temperature. So the fire's going now. That's just a t-shirt. And there goes the sprinkler head, just popped. So that, all that, that's a t-shirt going up. So that's, uh, the heat gets up, it gets hot enough, and that, that will, that will activate and that puts it out. Everybody like it? That's how they work. Do you? Yeah, I don't know if it works. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. They're a little bit expensive now to retrofit if you have a, have a house. Hopefully that price will come down as more are getting put in the residence. All right, guys. We're going to do it again in about half an hour or so. Or less than that. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right. You want some water? Yeah. The water is in this one. On this one? I believe. Well, thank you very much. No, yeah, it is. Okay. Wow. Good one. You and me share, huh?
So tell me, what did you think of the tour of the fire station today? I don't know. Did you like it? I have fun. Yes. Yes. You like the fire trucks? Yes. Did you see the fire in the trail right back? Yes. Did you think that was good too? Yes. All right, uh, we had a great time today. It was a, it was a wonderful event. Everyone was uh, really nice and we learned a lot and it was a very nice thing to come out and see. Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> think of this uh, day at the fire department? Good. Good? What did you see that you liked the best? Mm. Well, I don't you know. Like the big ladder or the ambulance? I don't know. Oh. Uh, today's actually about what makes Whitman special. It's community, it's kids being involved. Uh, keep kids off the streets, you give them a good sense of community, give them a good sense of enjoyment and involvement, and hopefully in the future as they go through their school years, they remember this and when our fire engines and our police officers are in school and they're teaching the kids, uh, that goes to a large measure as well.